the Mercury conjunct the sun. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, you know, like we said earlier, that's, that's having the King's ear. That's, that's, you know, you, you were going through, you know, you're coming close to the sun, you're getting, you're getting hot, you're, you're getting closer, you're combust. Then, then you go sit in the heart of the sun and, you know, you have almost a boost of vitality or, or, or that planet gets a boost of vitality. And, and I think that the sun kind of directs and gives the, uh, the planets their, um, kind of their marching papers of this is what I want you to do because the conjunctions, you know, they, they are the, the starting points of, of a whole series of, of, uh, it, it's the starting point of, what am I trying to say? It's the starting point of, you know, when, they, can jump, when they, when they have the, yeah, yeah. a new cycle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And, and so it's, it's in a forward direction. So it's almost like getting marching orders from the sun to say, okay, now this is, this is the plan. This is what we're going to do, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. And, and I people... view the sun as kind of like the quarterback <laughs> of our solar system. Is the quarterback the most important person in football? I don't follow football, so he, he's he's the he's the one in charge. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I've put this. If you can see this uh, up here, I've said Mercury conjunct the Sun. A lot of people would say it should be Sun conjunct Mercury, but it's actually Mercury catching up and conjoining the Sun, and then it's going to overtake it. And then later on, the Sun will, you know, catch up as Mercury slows down, and eventually the Sun will catch up. The Sun will conjunct. Mercury. Some people believe it's like, you know, the planet in this case, Mercury. It's like a man on his sick bed. He's made a recovery. He's better. He's over the worst of the illness, but he's not fully recovered yet, which he's come through being under the beams. He couldn't be seen because he was outshone by the sun. He's got too close to the sun. He's been burnt up. He's having a rest and a respite here. He's kind of catching his breath having something to drink you know he's kind of the king's kind of like okay you've traveled all this way and in this case particularly because um mercury is in pisces is as far away as he can possibly be from his usual place of um virgo opposite or um gemini which is square it he's like a stranger in a strange land you know he's had to sneak in and he's got the king's ear so you know if the king gives you an audience, that's quite important. So, yeah, yeah. hopefully this can be quite good. Mercury conjunct the sun. It's Kazemi. Hopefully quite good. It lasts about a day or so. Mercury is moving really quick at this time, about 199% of its usual speed, because when Mercury comes up to the sun, it is moving really quick. Coming up to the sun and conjoining and then moving just past the sun mercury's at its fastest then so a nice aspect a nice aspect when mercury conjuncts the sun i, I think it's, it's a good real, for um thinking i think it's a real saving grace for this uh mercury yeah yeah but you know like we said earlier do be watchful you know it is squaring mars mm -hmm. so it, it could it could inspire you to do action mm -hmm. yeah um yeah hopefully at the time of the actual kazemi yeah donna brought up rousing speeches would be great for something like that inspiring people and because you've got that neptune there all that idealism all that altruistic stuff you got moon coming up to conjoin pluto at the same time so you got that emotional depth and intensity yeah that would be a really good use of it. But yeah, if someone starts on you, yeah, just be aware. It's, you probably got your facts mixed up or they've got their facts mixed up. Easy to um, bite at this time though, or what's the word? To take the bait at this time. 